Hey guys and welcome back to the Spruce and Linen channel. I'm Janelle and today we're going to talk about variations of plain weave. And so just to give you a little bit of an explanation for that, so it's a little bit different than a twill where a twill you're kind of staggering your rows to create shapes. This is still going to act like plain weave where you're doing um, one stitch and then the next row you're doing the opposite. So with traditional plain weave the basic form of weaving is over one warp string under one warp string all the way across and then the next row you do the opposite. So anywhere you went under in the previous row you go over in the next row. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is just a few rows of typical plain weave. So just the over one, under one and that's just going to act as just kind of the base of my little sample here and I want to um, show you the difference between regular plain weave and what we're going to do. What we're going to do is going to look a little bit more like a basket weave almost. So what we're doing here is just our typical plain weave over one string, under one string, the next row doing the opposite. So you've heard me talk about plain weave a lot and I like to use it at the base of my weavings. Um, it just kind of evenly spreads out your warp and gives a really good structure um, as you're going over one and under one that's going to give you a really good strong cloth. Okay we have a few rows of plain weave here now and now we're going to jump into our variation and I'm going to get a nice length of I'm just using three millimeter cotton rope, but of course you can use any kind of yarn. Um, the pattern will be more emphasized the thicker your string or yarn is. And of course you can use um, roving for this as well. So the first variation we're gonna do is just going to be over one, under three, and then the next row we'll do the opposite. So again, we're going to start over one, under three, over one, under three, and we're going to continue that all the way across. Now our next row will be going over three, under one. So the opposite of what we just did. So this went under three here, one, two, three. We're going to go over those three in the next row. And again, doing what we just did in reverse. So now we're going over one again and under three. And you're just going to continue doing um, those stitches back and forth and you're gonna see the pattern kind of come through here. So now you can see just this little bit of a different texture and feel that that gives and if you spread it out a little bit don't beat it down as much you can see it even more and you can kind of understand that bit of basket texture that we're getting and you can play around with the different combinations so I'm gonna do a few more rows of plain weave and then we're gonna do another combination on top we're gonna try another variation now and this time we're gonna go over three and under two, just so that you can see the different, the slightly different effects that you can get by doing this. This time around, we're gonna go over two, under three, and this is just gonna give us a slightly different look than the last one we did. And you can see here, I don't have a perfectly even warp for this situation, so at the end here, instead of going under three, I'm only going under two. But whatever you do, all you have to remember is to do the opposite on the next row. So I went under two, so I'm gonna go over two, under two, and then back to my over three, under two.
Okay, I have messed up this row. So, over two, under two, over three. There we go. So you can see here that we have a slightly different look, but it's very similar to this. And you can really play around, like I said, with the different combinations. You could even go over five under one, depending on what you want this to look like. But again, this is just such an easy way to add a slight variation on an easy stitch um, and add some interest to your weavings. All right, you guys, so that is some variations on plain weave, a super easy way to add a little bit of texture and a little bit of pattern to your weavings. Make sure you tag us on Instagram and use hashtag SL Weaving Club so that we can see your weaving. I love to see and share and um, celebrate with you in your weaving wins. If you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and click the bell to get notifications when I post new videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, you guys, so there are a different, <laughs> there are a different, great words, okay. And also use has, damn it, that was so good. <laughs> ah! Okay, okay, that's a wrap.